Welcome to The Next List. I'm Dr. Sanjay Gupta. I want to introduce you to a remarkable woman who defies definition. I want you to meet Neri Oxman. Neri is an architect, an engineer, a designer, a scientist. Neri Oxman believes that we could one day in the near future 3D print our buildings. I don't want to design a building as I have learned. Uh, I want to question what it means to design a building. At her lab at MIT's Media Lab, she's experimenting with different printable materials, everything from concrete to silk. That concrete can be many things. That concrete can become a transparent window. Neri is thinking about architecture and design in completely new ways. Her muse is nature and her medium is the 3D printer. Can you print DNA? Can you print with calcium? Can you make a building with calcium? I'm Dr. Sanjay Gupta, and this is The Next List. We're now at the MIT Media Lab the Mediated Matter Group is the group that I have founded when I arrived at the Media Lab as faculty. Neri came as a student um, in computation at the secondary master's level. Uh, we don't tend to hire our own, uh, you know, it's just a principle. But Neri was uh, so exceptional that when we had a big search for a position in the Media Lab, she came out on top, you know, so clearly, clearly excellent. The Mediated Matter Research Group was founded two years ago uh, as a design lab that's dedicated to exploring design that is inspired by the biological world and the natural world. How can we reinterpret 3D printing that generates or suggests a new design language that's informed by the environment. When you think about other systems in nature, one often thinks of the spider web. Uh, so the spiders are creatures of the environment that generate silk. And uh, with that silk, they do lots of things. Uh, they create trailing routes, they capture their prey, they wrap their prey, um, they wrap their eggs, so they generate silk for various functions. So in a way the spider is a kind of multi-material 3D printer. The spider itself is a kind of printing machine, only instead of printing plastics, it prints with silk. So the spider web is a form of architecture, but it is also a form of fabrication, and one cannot separate the spider web's form from the way in which it originated. Nature doesn't divide between the architect, the engineer, and the construction worker. These are processes that we're fascinated to explore. Learning from nature is not new, but she can learn from uh, what she sees in the growth of a tree, for example, or in the, 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 you know, the structure, the bone structure of an animal, and so on, and then take that into, you know, kind of morph it into a set of designs. The bark of certain trees in a northern climate might be made by nature to maximize the absorption of the sun. If you can understand that particular behavior and reproduce it, you might do a facade treatment for buildings in northern climates that maximizes the absorption of the sun. So in a way she was trying to create a catalog of natural behaviors that could be reproduced to then be applied in many different industries. If we're able to extract some of 